Episode two. This is the clinical name for this episode. Pentatonic scales and sequences. Yeah. Take it away, Mr. Carlos Calvo. That sounds way nerdier than it really <laughs> is, but you know, we dig that, right? Sure. Sounds uh sounds impressive at the Thanksgiving table. I think we just <laughs> thought, what'd you do this week? We learned a couple of pentatonic sequence riffs. See, yes. But you know, we're still talking about our pentatonic scale, which is just such an epic, great, useful, versatile, powerful scale. I just you know, you, it's tough to exhaust the possibilities. It's literally one of those things where the only limit is your own imagination with it. So if you're kind of feeling a little stuck with your blues riffs or pentatonic riffs, I, uh, I like applying sequences to, to these scales. And what that means is if you could, here's a scale where A minor pentatonic, right? If you imagine like these uh, notes, instead of going A, C, D, E, and so on, Picture it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on. So a sequence is basically, uh, I'm going to do a sequence that goes two, one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four. So I'm going to start on the second note, come back to the first, and back to the second. And then I'm going to advance one more note, the third note, back to the second note, and then on the third. And then the fourth note, back to the third, up to the fourth. And the effect is this kind of climbing, uh, kind of builds a little excitement, yeah. I think, the overall It's like a cascading effect. effect. Yes, especially played in reverse, which you would do the exact same. And uh, uh, Jimmy Page definitely uh, used this sequence to great effect in um, maybe communication breakdown. He did an E, awesome. Uh, but it just makes it sound like there's a lot going on. And we know we're still using the same notes, but. Wow. Sounds awesome. Uh, maybe Dickie Betts was a great user of the. Uh, It just sounds yeah. like there's a lot more going on with your scale right. than it is, and it's just that sequence. And so on. And once you kind of figure out just a little bit of it, mm -hmm. your fingers, you want to try a little bit? Oh, I know. Is this is like a 100 days kind of thing? That's a 100 days. Mm -hmm. So start with your pinky, mm -hmm. and you're going to go pinky, first finger to pinky. There it is. Okay. This is the first one. Now you're going to go to this note mm -hmm. on the fifth string, go back to your pinky. Right. And now you're on the third finger, okay. fifth string. Perfect. And then your first finger. See how it gets a little pattern going? And your third finger on that? Next string, first string. Right. Brilliant. That was unrehearsed, by the way. You muted, had not muted, done a bunch that. Of skip strings, muted strings. That was that was <laughs> perfect. And so once you get it smooth, you know you don't have to worry about it doing it fast. But you can hear how that. So, you can use these things uh, in a very musical way. It doesn't yeah. always have to sound like an exercise or a warm up, even sure. though they're great, great for that. Wow. Do you want to do one more sequence? Sure. This is, uh, and these sequences could be done in major scales and minor scales, right. but I love how they sound with pentatonic. Okay. Because that was well done, by the way. And you could do it in reverse. I missed, I missed the notes. That's okay. That's it. You made the sequence. It's exactly, that was it. A lot of bang for the buck if you can incorporate these into your regular. It sounds kind of cool. Yeah. It sounds like there's, there's a lot going on there. Oh, that's fantastic. It's just our favorite old A minor pentatonic scale, Woo. or whatever key you happen to be playing. Breaking out of the Breaking box. Breaking out of the box. One more sequence? Sure. Uh, back to our numbers. Uh 
Uh-huh. One, two, three, four, five. This one's a little more complex. Okay. I'm going to go up the first four notes. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to come back to the second note okay. and go two, three, four, five. And then your first finger okay. is going to go right there. And then your third finger again. Your first finger right. Third finger. First finger, pinky, that was it, that was okay. the last note. Perfectly done. This one's a little tougher though, a little bit yeah, of a brain better. Yeah, think about it. Sounds like... Uh, Sounds like 99 uh, more days. 99 more there. days, but um, maybe Eric Johnson does a lot of things like that. He's really impressive, wow. be with his beautiful tone. And uh, you know, and does these cat these descending sequence riffs, yeah. still using just a pentatonic, our humble little workhorse Thomas the Train type scale, you know, a little workhorse uh, of a of a scale. But you can get so much out of it, and they just they just sound really, you know, you can combine the different sequences as yeah. as well. <laughs> Love them. Sequences are, are great. So have have fun with them. I think the pentatonic scale is a perfect place to uh, as an introduction point to these sequences, and and I think it adds a lot of flavor, color, and a little flair. Can we say flair? Yeah, a little flair. flair to to your to your playing. Well done, my friend. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for the tip. Would you mind playing us out on our second <laughs> episode? <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Carlos Calvo, thanks for joining us at Music Tribe Studios LA. We'll see you for the next episode of Breaking Out of the Box. Nice.